Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in Nerddom TV edition for the week of January 30th, 2018. TV is a huge one this week, so we're gonna skip all the teasers and go right into the intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. And I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commando of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. We are still seeing the remnants of San Diego Comic-Con. First up on the list, we have an update for the Mega City One, the Judge Dredd TV series. Uh, the pilot now has a script. They're still shopping it around to find it a home as far as I know, but the writer was from 2000 AD writer Rob Williams. So we are that much closer to getting a Judge Dredd TV show. Uh, hopefully the pilot gets picked up and made and then somebody green lights the entire series. I, I feel like I'm not a huge Judge Dredd fan, but I, this is such a long time coming and I feel like it's a really interesting uh, uh, property. It, the Judge Dredd, even though I haven't read a whole bunch, but I do like both of the movies, less so the Stallone version, but whatever. Um, yeah, I just, I, I think Mega City 1, Judge Dredd will play out very well as a comic book series rather than trying to fit a bunch of stuff into a movie that in the end really doesn't make sense because there's so much depth that you have to get through to make Judge Dredd make sense. Anyway, so Mega City 1's that much closer. Moving on, next we are talking about Swamp Thing. Uh, Jim Lee just told CNET like a week ago that the new Swamp Thing series will not be set in the Berlantiverse and also will not be set in the Titans universe. So this is doing two things for us. One, it's setting Swamp Thing in its own uh, set of uh, rules. It's giving it its own universe. And also it's defining the fact that Titans and Doom Patrol are together one universe, but not the same universe as Flash and Green Lantern, uh, Green Arrow rather, <laughs> like we were kind of postulating it might be. So that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, he he said to Cena in an interview that there is no mandate to tie everything together. And he's absolutely right. And that's something DC does well in the comics. Why shouldn't they do it in their uh, live action properties? Next on the list is in the vein of things we should have talked about last week because this was announced uh, before I filmed last week. The next season of American Horror Story is going to be titled Apocalypse. Again, that's all we know because they're super secretive about American Horror Story stuff. There's It's black and red are the theme, color themes, whereas for the last season uh, it was bees, so it was yellow and white and black. I feel like we're, it wasn't a whole lot of white, but still... Um, interesting color scheme, and so far we've seen babies in the promo pictures, and black hands. Babies dipped in red paint, and then black hands. So, I don't know what that could symbolize. I, I know that the, um, the promo art for the last season really didn't factor into the season itself at all, so maybe this is all just to get people speculating about something that doesn't matter. So, who knows, but very interesting. Moving on. Next, we have a behind-the-scenes feature at four, The Tick. Season two will be coming out 2019. Again, 2019 is going to be an epic year. There are a couple of interesting tidbits about the new season. Nothing really spoilery. You can find the featurette link down in the description. Uh, really, what they're talking about is... Uh, the, this new Tick universe that they've created for this new series, effectively, and we know this from watching the first season, the superheroes kind of fell into the shadows. They weren't as, as, as prevalent in this world. And now that the Tick and Arthur have come out and they captured the terror or whatever, kill, I didn't kill him. God, I need to rewatch that. <laughs> But either way, because they are so they're becoming predominant in the news coverage and everything. Now apparently, season two is going to be about all of the older superheroes in this world coming out of the woodwork and showing off the things that they have been sitting on for the last however many decades. So 
I'm stoked. I mean, and the little tidbit's kind of funny. It they, There's a lot of missed gags. You know, they, they tried something and it didn't really land. But still, there's a couple of little bits that you go, ha, that's, that's clever. Uh, so go check it out. Again, link in the description. Next on our list, we are talking about Screw Attack. Now, let me, let me preface this before we get into the actual news. We generally talk about YouTube stuff in the supplemental side of things, but I'm, I'm going to change that for two reasons. One, supplemental is probably going to be taking a back seat for the next few weeks until I get a little bit more time on my hands. I have other things going on in my life that need to take a little bit more of a dominant role, so I need to focus, send some focus there so I don't have as much time to film. And two, we talk about streaming stuff in the TV uh, section. Why wouldn't we talk about YouTube as well? YouTube is effectively a streaming channel, right? So we're going to start talking YouTube stuff unless it's like movie premieres and things like things like that, trailers and so on and so forth. So if it's if it's a regular series on YouTube, it'll find its way in here. And now we're talking about Screw Attack's Death Battle. Uh, they just did a new one this week that is Samurai Jack versus Afro Samurai, and it is so awesome. Uh, makes me want to rewatch all the Samurai Jack and then get back into because I've only seen like three episodes of Afro Samurai for whatever reason. No, n not because I wasn't interested, but just because other things happened and whatever. So it it, it rekindled my uh, excitement for both series, and I totally agree with the end result. If you haven't seen it, there is a link to that video down in the description. Check it out. The guys over at Screw Attack really do some brilliant stuff, so if you, if you are unaware, definitely go over to their channel and subscribe after you finish today's episode. Our next bit of news for TV this week is Buffy. Uh, this is one that I missed until this week that came from San Diego Comic-Con last week. Uh, so we could have talked about it last week, but I, it was only a rumor. I didn't have any sort of substantiating evidence that this was going to happen. Well, I found some this week. Uh, Joss Whedon has officially signed off on doing a reboot for Buffy. Now... It hasn't been specifically said how they're going to reboot it. Are they going to legacy sequel it like they did for for the Creed movie off of the Rocky Balboa movies? Uh, is it just going to be full proper reboot where we're going to get a new actress playing Buffy? We don't know any of these answers yet, but we're going to find out. There's not even, there's no casting, there's no writer, there's nobody attached to it just yet besides Joss and I think a couple other producers. And, and as far as my source knows, there is no uh, uh, studio that's got its hands on it yet either. Obviously, it's very likely to go to Warner Brothers, but it could come out on the DC. I'm pretty sure Buffy's a DC book. It could be a Marvel book, in which case it won't come out on the DC Universe app, but potentially could come out on the DC Universe app because they, they are owned by Warner Brothers and Warner Brothers owns the rights to Buffy, so on and so forth. So, yeah, that's... That's, it could potentially be a total bomb and it could be terrible, but Joss Whedon really has a great track record, so I'm not expecting that. We have every reason to believe that once this thing finally hits, it's going to be fantastic. And then our last bit of news is a very quick one that is super exciting. If you have not watched the first season of Krypton, now is your time to check in and, and catch up because... Lobo is going to be in season two. That's right. DC's Wolverine is going to be in season two. We thought that they were working on a Lobo movie, but apparently the guys over at the Sci-Fi channel have the rights to use Lobo from the Superman universe. So, I, yes, please. I really thought we were going to get a movie before we saw him on TV, but either way, Lobo was a great character to put in any one of these IPs and... It's interesting that Krypton got him first. But that, guys, is where we are ending this week's episode. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments right down below. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can go find all of the links, the social medias, the freebies, everything. Starts there on generallynerdy.net. Go check it out. If you would rather support the channel more directly, there is also a link slash uh, you could go to patreon.com slash generally nerdy uh, and you can support the channel more directly. Dollar a month gets you 
very nearly twice the content. So go check out Generally Nerdy on Patreon, patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you like the episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, do all of the things and click all of the other boxes. Guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>